y'all. CB here at NBS Weldon. Something really important I got to bring up and talk about because I got a comment on one of my videos recently where we were talking about cleaning aluminum. And I had a viewer comment that he cleans his aluminum with brake clean and a, and a wire brush. And I've got to get this out there and get it out there quick. So if, if you weld or you know somebody who does, watch this video and share this video because there's a chemical in brake clean it's called tetrachloroethylene. Tetrachloroethylene is a chemical that is in brake clean that when heated above 599 degrees Fahrenheit, it turns into a, a gas called phosgene. Phosgene is a gas that was used as a chemical weapon in World War I. Um, it is a deadly gas that can be created when you clean things with brake clean and then heat it like you would if you were going to weld on it. This thought of, of using brake clean in any way around welding or in any way around anything involving heat, this word has got to get out there so that people understand how dangerous this is. If you don't believe me, research it for yourself. But before you do anything uh, further, cleaning things that you're going to weld on with brake clean, Please educate yourself on the dangers of it. The effects of, of phosgene poisoning can be delayed for something like two to six hours or more after you've been exposed to it. And, and, you, and you, can, you can have kidney, liver, or even heart failure as a result of breathing this gas. Um, once you've been poisoned by this gas, there's no antidote to it. So I do want to support welding. I do want to support the trades. I want to share information with people who want to weld. I want to help welders. But you've got to understand that this is one of the things that can be in somebody's garage that can be truly dangerous, although it's rare to happen. It, if it does happen, it can be fatal. So if I'm helping one person by getting this out there, then that's enough for me because uh, this is something that I've known about obviously for a long time. And when I saw uh, when I saw this comment that someone had had suggested using brake clean on something that they were going to weld, I realized that it was something I need to address right away. So, like I said, I, I want to support welding, and I, but I want I want everybody to be healthy and and safe and. Uh, I'm not a, a big brow beater when it comes to safety, but this is something that this is something that could just by an easy mistake in somebody's garage could create a situation that that's potentially fatal. So I feel like it's really important to to say something about it. Okay, so all right, guys, uh, follow my channel NBS Welding. Um, you know, like, subscribe, give me a comment. Uh, check out the videos and, and uh, like I always say, learn how to work with what you got. That way you always have everything you need.